instruction set architecture. What is an instruction set architecture? We know that computer is just a bunch of silicon and metal stuck together. This is the hardware. It is the software that really makes the computer to interact with us. It is the software that makes the hardware to do the task which is needed by the user. For that, the software must have some way to talk to the hardware to process the input. This is the point where the ISA comes in. That is, we already know when a software or a program is written, it is written in a manner that is easy for humans to understand. So it is necessary to translate the programs into a language that a computer can understand. This ISA provides all the information about the hardware to write a program in machine language or that is a, to translate a program from a higher level language to the ma machine language which is under which can be understood by a particular machine then we move how the program move to the sequence how a program is translated from a higher level language to the machine level language which is which a computer or a hardware can execute first we know program is a collection of instructions that performs a specific task when executed by a computer it is normally written in a high level language like c c plus plus fortran java etc which is translated into a assembly code by a compiler this assembly code is a, a for example is given in a in the next slide next the assembly language code is then translated into machine language by an assembler this machine code consists of instructions that is the machine code has zeros and ones that the computer can directly execute this is the uh, levels of translation picture where the high level language is converted into assembly language by a compiler then the assembler converts the architecture specific statements into a machine uh, language code which consists of only zeros and ones which can be translated by the hardware it can be executed by the hardware in the example of high level language is a uh, high level language then the assembly language and the zeros and ones that is machine language code is given in this side for your reference now we move to a picture showing where the instruction set architecture comes in the instruction set architecture defines or uh, gives all the information about the hardware that are we can say it gives how the uh, assembly level uh, code should be converted in, into the machine code so that the particular hardware executes the instruction this gives the overall picture of the computer system and where the instruction set architecture has its role in the inside the computer system where the role of the instruction set architecture comes in isa is responsible for defining the set of instructions to be supported by the specific processor that is it specifies the processor's functionality that is every processor has a particular every type of processor has a particular instruction set architecture so the speed specifies the process functionality particular process functionality it consists of what the operations it supports, what storage mechanisms it has, and how they are accessed. 
and how the programmer or compiler com can communicate with the uh, communicate programs to the processor. The instruction set has all that has to be visible for the software. First is the memory organization. It consists of the address space, that is how many locations can be addressed or addressability, how many bits per location. Then is the register set. It is a register is a place to store a collection of bits. How many registers are supported, how, what size and how they are used. Then next is the operations or instruction types. What are the types of instructions supported by the particular processor? It is data operation which consists of arithmetic logic and data transfer and instruction sequencing and then the instruction format which consists of opcodes or operation selection VAD operation selection means uh, operation has add, mul, div etc that we already know then the data types byte or a word then addressing modes that is the coding schemes to access the data that will be discussed uh, in a detailed manner later based on the instruction set the compiler converts the high level language program into a assembly level language program which is nothing but a symbolic version of an equivalent machine language then the assembler converts the assembly language to a the assembly, that is the assembler, assembler converts the assembly language program to machine code it takes the basic commands and operations from the assembly code and converts the them into binary codes that is zeros and ones based on the instruction part format part of the instruction set architecture that we uh, discussed in the previous slide this machine code at last can directly be executed by a, by the processor and next is the important aspect of uh, computer architecture is the design of instruction set for the processor the instruction set for a particular computer determines the way the machine language programs are constructed the same instruction set is and um, as i already said same instruction set is not used for all the processes the instruction set varies with the cpus there are two design styles of cpu design nowadays a reduced instruction set computer complex instruction set computer reduced instruction set computer has a small optimized set of instructions it takes one uh, clock cycle uh, only one clock cycle per instruction then are of uh, instructions are of same size or fixed format then next is the complex instruction set computer it consists of larger instruction set instruction can take multiple clock cycles and instructions can have variable length